Hi, I'm Nate Syetz. I'm the brewer behind Unchained Number no. 10, which is a Belgian style Abbey Ale. Um, came up, I really didn't have a background piece or a, a love story behind this beer like some of our other brewers have had with their beers. I wanted to do a, a beer I was unfamiliar with, a beer style I was unfamiliar with. Um, didn't know a lot about Belgian beers. Didn't drink a lot of Belgian beers. I have one from time to time though. I like them. It's just uh, hard to go out and have 8% uh, beer as your session beer when you're outside. Um, I tried to brew this beer to stylistically possible as I could. I imported a lot of malts from Germany. Um, used a, a new malt from Weiermann Malts called Nabby Malt and I was really intrigued by it. I really liked the flavors uh, that were apparent in it. Um, I imported a lot of Belgian candy sugar from Belgium. Um, so I was trying to make this beer as true to the style as I could. Um, this beer is pretty malty. Uh, it's also uh, has a residual sweetness to it. Uh, it's not too hoppy. Um, there's going to be some uh, fruity notes in it uh, from the result of the yeast I used, which is a Belgian Trappist stale strain in it. So it's going to have some, some pear notes, some raisin, um, some plum, some sour apple. Um, but overall, I feel it's a pretty drinkable beer. Um, comes in about 8%, and I don't think you can tell that it's, a, it's an 8% beer at all. Uh, well, it, it's similar to a bad uh, Belgian Abbey Ale that you would get in Belgium and the way that uh, I've sourced a lot of ingredients the same way they would. Um, so I'm getting a lot of my base malt out of Germany, um, some specialty malt out of there too. Using Belgian candy syrup, um, I didn't use a clear variety, a, a refined variety. I used a dark amber syrup, which I thought added a little bit more flavor to the beer. Um, I used a Trappist Ale yeast strain, so yeast strains that a yeast strain that was prevalent in some of the Trappist ales coming out of um, Belgium right now. But it, it, it's different in the way that only Trappist monks can make you know, Belgian Abbey Ales and call it a Belgian Abbey Ale. So this is why we have to call ours a Belgian style Abbey Ale. Um, it's, not a, it's not brewed by Trappist monks. And it's not brewed in Belgium, so. Um, I've been brewing here for about four years now. I came uh, in the summer of 2008. I was the first ever intern here. I, I had inquired about an internship a couple times and they always told me, the camera woman told me that uh, we, we never have interns, we rarely hire brewers. A um, couple months into the brewing program I was doing at the American Brewers Guild, a uh, former brewer of here contacted me wondering if I'd still be interested in an internship. Of course I jumped on the opportunity and um, became an intern and a couple months later I was hired as a brewer. Um, so I have a, I had a, at the time I had a tech degree in brewing science from the American Brewers Guild and a, an associate in business management from Century College. Um, about a year and a half ago, I went back to school through a program through University of Wisconsin Stout to finish my bachelor's in uh, business management. And then through that, the ultimate goal was to apply to grad school. And uh, a couple weeks ago, I just started um, a master's program uh, through the University of Harriet Watt in Edinburgh, Scotland for Brewing and Distilling Sciences. So I'm going to try to complete it in two years. You have up to four years to do it, but I think I'm pretty, I've set my goals pretty high and want to complete it in two years. Um, from there, you know, we'll just see what happens when I get, get done with that, but I love working here. I love, uh, you know, the brewers, the other brewers I work with. All around, it's a it's a fun company to work for. The people in the other departments are pretty cool too. So we have a lot of good times with one another, and it's not, you know, we just don't come to work and go to work functions with each other. We actually hang out with each other at each other's homes and have barbecues and um, 
people over for dinner and whatnot. So it's a it's a big family environment here, and I love that aspect of working here too.